and welcome back to my channel in case you're new here my name is Kisha Muldani uh, and in today's video I'm gonna be sharing with you guys tips on how to make your house cozy how to make your house beautiful tips that I've implemented myself and tips that I've learned uh, throughout my journey since I started like making my house look cute and cozy even if you haven't watched my video on my house tour make sure you watch that so that you can get to understand like, what I mean and also this is a learning process right just because i did put up a video on my house tour that doesn't mean that is the end of uh, like me furnishing and making my house cozy that is just but the beginning and yeah it's a process that we get to learn every single day so in today's video i'll share with you guys about 10 tips yeah on how to make your house cozy so let's dive into the first point uh one the first thing is get a theme for your house like really do understand like um what you want to do in the first place so like for example for me what i did is i went to pinterest i spent a lot of time on pinterest just looking through pictures on like houses house ideas you know how to cozy up your living room your kitchen your bathroom whatever like spend a lot of time researching online and i think the best place to do this is on uh, pinterest i got a whole lot of ideas on what to do on on pinterest here yeah? the other thing is also like <clears throat> in terms of you getting a theme of what you want for your house watch a lot of like youtube videos for people who upload their spaces online on youtube on whatever other platforms for you to get like an idea of of um what you want to achieve yeah so get a theme again don't go with so many colors don't like choose 200 colors you your couch is purple your carpet is blue your in your mix mix matching so many colors i mean you can have like one two three four colors in your house but not those shouting colors like just sticking to a theme that you love like colors you love and you know just make make you feel good so like for example for myself i do have a theme in my house so i have a theme pink is my favorite color so i have a lot of uh pink stuff here and there and then i also have a lot of white things in my house here yeah? and then i just have like one two other colors to just block that but yeah just have a theme that you like the other thing is yeah this is a big one to declutter things that no longer work for you and i did that i, I think um i've implemented this a lot in the last couple of months i used to have a lot of unnecessary things in my house things that just because oh CG, you grew up in a house where you had this 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 your couch CG, you had a, a 10 seater couch you had all sorts of things in your house you don't have to have that like i remember for example for myself i did used to have a very big tv stand i had i don't know how many coffee tables that did not even go with the theme of what i wanted so i did declutter a lot of things so be, before you even begin like um implementing like your journey in terms of like making your house look better the first thing would be just to declutter everything that you think that no longer works for you no longer looks attractive something that you have outgrown just declutter give it away if you if you want to sell to buy a new one just sell but i feel like the first step for you is to declutter everything that you no longer need and everything that does not work for you the, the other thing is for you to get the right space so after like get the right or whatever budget you're working with whatever house you're looking for whether you're looking for a single room whether you're looking for a bed sitter or a bedroom a mansion whatever you're looking for just make sure you're looking for the correct space yeah like just do research online i think in the past i was guilty of this so when i moved into a house me i didn't care as long as the budget fits i was comfortable living in that house but now like when i'm looking for a house especially when i moved into this house I was very particular about the space that I wanted to get into because I remember the other, the previous house that I used to stay in was just, it was just bad for lack of a better word. My walls, my walls were painted green. My bedroom had a very weird uh, V-shape and my like V-shape with a very small um, wardrobe at the very end. Honestly, and it was so dark, like all the rooms from my bedroom to my living room, there was barely any light coming into the house. And I, I had to like put on lights every other single, like every other time my lights had to be on because it was so dark. And moving into this house, I was like, 
I wanted a house with like a lot of you know light coming in. I was very particular about the things I wanted in the house, and I mean that is achievable at whatever budget. You don't have to settle for a house that you know just because no, I mean they're really nice houses at whatever budget. At what I mean, like we we're, we're different in terms of like where we are at in life, and that's something to appreciate. But regardless of whatever space you're looking at, make sure like it sticks for you. It sticks for you. I feel like this house ticked it for me. Like I'm like the light coming into the, the living room is like a lot and the space is just like a space that I can be able to work with. So yeah, get a space that you're comfortable with, a space that you can be able to work. I don't know. So after you decluttered, you've gotten the right space and you've done all this. So do a lot of research, right? But do a lot of research in terms of like what you want you you can literally google anything on pinterest or google and find it you're like um like for example for myself what i've done is as i'm coming up with like the theme for my house and how i'm going to like arrange things on pinterest i'll go to pinterest and like um ideas on because my house is an open plan open plan ideas for my house right and then i just see a whole lot of ideas on what i can be able to do and that is very important do a lot of research before buying things this is I, I think this is also quite important right because i feel like a lot of people just tend myself included like in the past i used to buy things out of impulse for the sake of doing it you get me so right now i'm i tend to get like life lifetime pieces if i'm about to get something for example if i want to buy like a couch or i want to buy a coffee table or whatever item it is that i want to buy in my house I don't buy things that I repeat. I will, I plan on replacing in the next couple of months or years. Like in the next two, three years, I want to. No, I invest in lifetime pieces. So if I get a couch, I know ten, five years down the line, I'll still be using the same couch, right? Because it's still going to be stylish. Um, five years down the line, I'll still be using this item. So I don't buy items for the sake of buying them out of impulse. Nowadays, I tend to plan myself. And I'm like, if I buy this cooker right now, if I buy this fridge, I'd rather do without an item than buy it to just replace it in like a few weeks, a few months down the line. It does not make financial sense. So I'd rather you wait and save up and buy a piece that you know you, you will not replace in the long long run. Yeah. So do not also like overdo it. Do not now, you've gotten a plant, now you have 10 plants in your house. Now your house looks like a garden. I'm like, don't overdo it. I think less is more. So, pick uh, items, small items that you know, like not small items, but say in the, in the literal sense of small items, but things that work for your space and make your space look nice. So, don't go ahead and like, get everything. So, if it's a couch, you're getting, you're getting a three seater. I don't know. Also, like I think it's how how we were raised and like the environment like we grew up in. For example, in our house we have a three-seater then we have another three-seater then a two-seater then a one-seater and I, I know it's because maybe like back home in our families we we're like a lot of people in the in the house and it makes sense for like uh, our space and whatever furniture is there to be able to like accommodate all those people but we don't need all those things to be honest i think like a three-seater and maybe like an um an armchair or whatever you call them i think that that's enough you don't have to like complicate me because I may not like those recliner things. I feel like they're very bulky. I'm not into bulky furniture. That's my preference. Yours might be different, but I'm like, I don't like bulky furniture. So yeah, don't overdo it in terms of like buying a lot of things. Again, less is more and it looks visually attractive. Yeah, the other thing is for you to get out of your comfort zone, to be honest, in terms of style and evolving, I think this is a process that you also have to like accept and want for yourself and want to like um explore because sometimes we tend to be like very rigid with things you're like no i have this couch um i i'm not gonna change it because of one or two reasons i'm like let's not be rigid with style style is always evolving we don't we don't always know what works best unless we explore it so again when it comes to research when it gets it comes to just getting ideas from people who have done it, uh, Pinterest, getting to Google things. I think it's just a matter of just being intentional about it. Um, if you really want to do it, you have to just be intentional about it. So this is quite important and key. And this is something that has also 
help me along the way and this is to budget and plan for things um and i think for me this started when i moved into this house so when i moved into this house i took time and first of all i knew i wanted to declutter the things that no longer worked for me but what i did as well is i wrote down a list of things that i wanted for my new house and at this point in time uh when i'm making this video i think i've accomplished like 75 percent of that list like i've been able to like execute 75 percent of that list like i remember um, at some point i was like i want like house plants i want to get like a longer chandelier and stuff like that so i regardless of when i'm going to get it because then again some of these things um are like budget constraints so you know you, you have to budget for them so at whatever time i get it i just tick it off the list so I have a comprehensive list from the time I got into this house. I was like, I want to get this, 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 and this eventually. And then I don't get anything that is outside that list. Yeah. So budget and planning is also quite important because you also don't want to spend money on impulse, like unless you're Bill Gates. So this is also like quite important. The things I'm referring to are things that I've done in my house, the things that have worked for my space. I think it's it's very important to just make sure that if you do something for say for example your living room don't leave your bedroom like aside don't leave your bathroom aside or whatever or if you have like several bedrooms don't like invest in one and then the other one is just looking i don't know how yeah so just cozy up the entire house so like the same feeling you have when you're chilling in your living room is the same feeling you have that when you're chilling in the in the bedroom yeah it's the same feeling you have when you're taking a shower and you feel nice so i mean just don't because i feel like a lot of people just tend to invest in the living room and forget the rest of the spaces and i'm thinking like for example if it's a bedroom you spend a lot of time actually in your bedroom sleeping so it's very important for you to just cozy up your entire house just to feel nice whatever space you are in your house yeah that's important you, again at the end of the day you're doing it for yourself you're not doing it for um, the visitors that are going to come to your house and see oh your living room looks nice kumbe you've transformed transformed your bedroom into a store you've transformed your bathroom into a store your kitchen looks like a store like it's very important to just if you're working on one space work on the rest of the spaces just to make your entire experience um beautiful yeah, this is the last point and this is also like quite important and a lot of people tend to ignore it um we're not like for example for myself I'm, I'm i'm talking from a point of view of what has worked for me right um it's good to also just invest and seek professional help when uh say if you're really intentional about like changing up your space and making it cozy like for example if you're going to get a couch yeah some of these places where we go shopping, some of these places where we shop for things and stuff like that, they do have, say, interior de designers that they work with, yeah? So it's good to just find out, okay, this is the house that I'm working on, this is the house that I have, it's our bedroom house, this is the theme that I'm looking for. What couch do you think will go? What pillowcases do you think will go with this space? What carpets, you know, what curtains, color will go with this space? It's good to just seek professional help from these places especially because you're not paying for it at the end of the day however if you feel like you your pocket allows it and you can be able to like pay for these services why not but if you can't be able to like um afford it as at now it's good to just seek help from some of these guys if you're shopping for something you're shopping for even if it's not like a very big piece of item just find out you're like oh by the way uh this is this is the project that i'm working on and what ideas what what ideas do you have because at the end of the day like unless you've you've uh, gone to school to learn about it or you you're uh, spending like extra time to learn about it online some of us don't know these things and we just come across them on a day-to-day -day basis so it's good to also just seek professional help while we can for some of these things whether it's talking to someone in a store where you're going to buy something or um, just investing time online and googling taking a course spending time to actually watch youtube videos and stuff like that about people who have actually worked on their spaces yeah i think that's that will also work for you great so i think we've come to the end of our video i think those are 10 points if i'm not wrong 
i hope you guys learned from uh, my video let me know down in the comment section what you think if you have more tips on how to like cozy up your space make your space beautiful let me know so that you can be able to share as well with the rest of the people watching this channel okay i hope you guys enjoyed it if you haven't subscribed to this channel make sure you do subscribe so that you don't miss any video that i upload like this video if you enjoyed it and share with a friend who wants to cozy up their space until my next video adios